President Trump is getting a lot of flack from the media and the left for his meeting with Vladimir Putin earlier this week. But how do Republican candidates, soon facing the voters, feel about the president? Let's ask one. John James, Republican candidate for United States Senate in Michigan, joins us now. Sir, I want to thank you first for your service to your country. You were a captain in the United States Army, and I thank you for that service, and thank you for joining us here today. Uh, you have an upcoming primary. Uh, you're looking at potentially running against uh, Debbie Stabenow, who is the uh, senator in Michigan. When people ask you about Trump or maybe the most recent meeting with Vladimir Putin, what do you tell people? Do you support the president? How do you react to them? Well, it's not about what I tell them. It's about what they tell me. I said before I got on this journey to listen and learn before I lead. Um, and what I actually heard when I was out walking in Detroit about a week or so ago, and, and I quote you, um, African-American male who is now working uh, and just got a, a bonus from, uh, from his employer because of the Trump tax cuts, said, and I quote, I don't mind Trump. He helps me and my babies eat good, end quote. What people really care about in Michigan is jobs. What people really care about in Michigan are taking care of their families. And they see having somebody in the White House who will protect America's interests, who will put someone like Neil Gorsuch on the Supreme Court, who will secure our borders and our entry points, defund sanctuary cities, and help um, uh, protect ICE against uh, uh, liberal progressives who would tear down our law enforcement. Um, these are things that people truly care about here in Michigan. And uh, do, do they, but did I they and care? they are excited about it. Did, did they care about the president's tweets? Did they care what MSNBC or CNN says? I mean, does that come up in these discussions when you're walking around Michigan? So the thing is, is when I go around the, uh, the state of Michigan and uh, in places like Flint and Saginaw, people really don't care about what the pundits and talking heads say on the coast. Right now, uh, Senator Stabenow has failed to effectively lead and bring things back. And there are areas like Flint, Saginaw, Detroit, uh, the reasons why I came back uh, that are still suffering, that don't look any better uh, after 50 years. The people who I'm talking about in these cities have been neglected by Democrats, and after marching from Selma to Detroit and, and, and rebelling from Baltimore to Watts. People here haven't seen anything change in 50 years. Well, now it's different. I'm the only conservative in this race. I've been endorsed by Right to Life Michigan, National Right to Life, Susan B. Anthony List, Senate Conservatives Fund, American Conservatives Union. I'm the only one who can beat Debbie Stabenow. I have a military experience being a West Point grad, Ranger qualified Apache pilot, and also somebody who's grown my family business from thirty-five million to one hundred thirty-seven million. I have right, the skill well, sets that my captain. You you have convinced me. You are not running from the Trump agenda. You are not running from the right, and I do think it'll be a winning message. I've got just ten seconds left. When people say the Democrats say, "Hey, let's abolish ICE," what do you say? I've got ten seconds. I say we have to secure borders, defund sanctuary cities, and protect ICE and our law enforcement officials. We need to actually defund sanctuary cities and use that money to fund ICE. Go to johnjamesforsenate.com to learn more. Nice pitch at the end. Well played, sir. Listen, I, I appreciate it. I, uh, I thank you for your service to this country and all those veterans who are out there who have actually served their country and worn the colors of the flag on their sleeve. So thank you for that, and thank, thank you, you for joining us tonight.